Hey, my super beautiful, lovely, gorgeous, wonderful souls. It's Lizzie the Light Worker here. So welcome guys. Today I'm bringing you a, a reading. It's gonna be for Twin Flames. We're gonna do Leo, Divine Female, and an Aquarius, Divine Male. And if you would like to see this in reverse, just leave me a comment with your um, sexes and astrology signs. And um, I'm focusing on separations more, guys. We're getting 90% of you are in separation. Um, and I like to try to be that supportive person for you guys. So I've also developed a group on Facebook if you're interested. It is private, okay? I want to stress that it is a private group. Um, and nothing that you say in the group leaves the group. Um, so we're working on different things in the group, developmentally wise for your spiritual journeys, sort of a place to meet and talk to other people who may be going through similar experiences as you. And um, helpful, helpful. I will be doing live readings in the group as soon as the number grows within the group. So you might wanna check that out. I will leave a link in the description box. As for now, let's get right into this reading and we're gonna work on our divine female first. So what's going on with our divine female? How is she feeling? How is she doing? What is she working on? I'm seeing some changes within her life because to me, I'm feeling like she's sort of leaving the old her behind. Um, I feel like she may have been coming out of another relationship going into this relationship with her divine male. That's what I'm feeling like. I feel like to, to me, she's just a giving, giving person. Now coming into this, going into this with her divine male, I feel like she gave a lot. Time, energy, love, like I don't even know, maybe money. I'm, I'm just feeling like she put a lot into this, okay? And she definitely was not getting what she put out back no way because this to me is about sacrifices and sort of almost being like a martyr for your relationship and sort of waiting things out and sort of waiting for them to sort of give you back what you put into it and it wasn't coming I feel like it wasn't coming um I feel like more so with her she may have a hard time with endings like when something is just sort of meant to be over. There could be stages that she goes through um, where she blames herself or she beats herself up about things or, you know, she thinks she didn't do enough or say enough or give enough. Um, I'm feeling like that might be a little bit of a pattern in relationships with our divine female here. But as far as her divine male, I feel like right now in this moment with these cards laying out the way they are that she was sacrificing way too much for him, okay? Um, yeah way too much and I feel like she really did need to sort of almost stand on her head for him um, as far as everything and I also feel like she could be in a time now where she's trying to see things a different way she's trying to change her perspectives on this whole situation she's trying to look at it from a different way a different view um, and get sort of like a different take on this and a different approach on how to heal or how to work through this or how to reach him so let's get into our divine male i'm curious now about our divine male all right so yeah he's on the defense all right i feel like you know i don't know if he's not prepared for a relationship i i mean guys twin flame relationships is not necessarily like we're gonna have the American dream together okay um, a lot of it is painful a lot of it is self-work a lot of it is denying what you're feeling uh, so intensely because you can't handle the intensity that comes I feel like our divine female tried to make our divine male more aware of things in life and that she may have forced him to take a look at himself in a way he never has or never wanted to um, yeah, I feel like he was he's not ready for any type of commitment whatsoever. Down the line, I think so. I get a little gist here that he might be a tad controlling. And I feel like there's something about him that he's affected greatly by things that cause anxiety. He's very affected by anything that causes him worry or anxiety. And he wants to control the situation when he's sort of pushed over the edge when he has a lot of anxiety or, or, or um, issues with 
um, not being able to control a situation. Okay, I'm just getting that a little bit in. Yeah, I feel like, you know, he may have said he wanted things with her. He may have said he wanted to focus on maybe the future. And then somehow, somewhere, I feel like he just couldn't handle, you know, the pressure that she was... I don't know if she's putting pressure on him, but, you know, to him, I feel like this isn't... He has some type of a nervous um, problem, okay? So I'm feeling like, yeah, her coming into him, her her union with him, she was ready for more than he was. That's as simple as that. I don't know, too, if he's feeling like he needs to focus on his home life more and his family, his own personal family more. Um, I get a sense, though, that he's got some ego issues and some vindictiveness, and I feel like he always wants to win all the battles, and he always wants to be right, and he always wants to be heard and have the last word, and... Um, there could be an air to him that he almost will step on anybody to get ahead. I don't know. Look, I'm saying this, guys. It can resonate or not. If it doesn't, toss it. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm feeling like a little bit here, okay? I want to just see. We need some more cards out here. Yeah, okay. This Somebody here is in sort of a codependent nature, okay? I also feel like this is fear to commit. And it could be, too, that our divine female, Leo, does not even know. She not, maybe not even aware of her fears of commitment, okay? I feel like deep down she might feel like getting stuck might, might not be the best place for her. I feel like with him, he just doesn't want to commit. He's afraid of commitment. I feel like there's lots of things he needs to go do. I feel like he needs to sort of focus on himself a bit. Um... Yeah, there's codependency. I don't th I don't know, too, if they got together and this sort of was like a lusty kind of thing. Um, you know, where they may have had the physical part of the relationship too soon, okay? Um, or, you know, they were sort of drawn into each other in that way and they just couldn't resist kind of thing. Because this is about temptations to me. But I'm feeling like, you know, there's definitely issues with codependency there's definitely issues with fears there's definitely issues with uh, anxieties and sort of carelessness okay I get a sense of there's this little bit of this carelessness vibe um, which could be a little bit more from our divine male and I'm also feeling like some control issues okay there could be some um, some control issues now I feel like our divine female was really the one here who wanted the true love kind of fairy tale ending. Um, and he, I mean, if he's sort of in this energy, he was not, not willing to accept this. I feel like he was very cold, actually, to her. I feel like he just turned, like, very cold on her. And she was willing to wait and willing to sacrifice and willing to give more time. But I feel like he turned very cold on her very quickly. And he sort of threw something up in her face or he lashed out at her or he said some things that were not too nice and made her feel really bad about herself. But her energy now in separation is that she's hanging in there. She's literally hanging in the balance of, is he going to talk to me again? Is Am I going to see him again? Am I going to have contact with him again? It's not allowing her to live her life, though, because you're supposed to really be, with this card here, the death card, you're supposed to really be accepting this, working on yourself, giving more to yourself, giving more attention to yourself, giving yourself more, and moving on. Not staying stuck in the balance, waiting for somebody who's like this nasty brat energy that's not going to... Just not going to care at the moment. Okay, that's what I'm getting with that card. That's sort of like a nasty brat energy. Like, haha, I beat you. That's what that card says. And that might not be overtly what someone's expressing, but deep down, that's sort of how they feel, okay? It's a very sort of childish energy. Um, it could be somebody that never got their way, so now they're older and they want their way all the time. Or they could have always gotten their way as a kid, and now they're just sort of trained to be that way almost, if that makes any sense. Yeah, not one of my favorite cards. Sorry, guys. Not a good energy. So independence, I feel like, is the key here. And I do feel like our Leo is very capable of doing that. Um, I feel like she came in as a strong, independent woman. She had her own shit. She's got her own money. She's got her own job. She's got her own. She really doesn't need anybody for anything, okay? So there's no real true 
codependency issues on her part. I feel like he's codependent on other people. I feel like he can be a bit manipulative to sort of get what he wants out of life or say some things and twist words and, and sort of has a little bit of a manipulative air to him, okay? But yeah, the goal here is for in independence, okay? Not only financial independence, but like just all overall life, like sort of independence. Sort of like, you know, not being afraid to get your hands dirty, not being afraid to tackle things, not being afraid to stick it out, um, maybe at your job or something like that, where you'll sort of be able to um, reap what you've sown, okay? Um, I feel like this is a little bit about letting go, okay? Sort of moving on and letting go, something that you know you need to let go of, okay? So our divine female, I feel like you need to let go of this for now. Um, because if you do and you put the self-focus on yourself, you're going to find yourself richer. You're going to find yourself in better energy. You're going to find yourself happier, able to take better care of yourself, able to focus on career and money and, and just things that you want, sort of the pampering that you'll do for yourself. Um, and I do feel like a great weight will come off of you um, once you stop being in this martyr sort of state and um, accept what is just for now because the now is what's important and how you're supposed to be working on yourself and moving forward in your spiritual journey he's in this energy he's not changing at the moment okay there's nothing you can do to make him change he's not going to change um and i say that with love okay i know sometimes it's difficult to hear these things the cards don't lie guys um, I'm channeling in. They don't lie. This is what we need to hear, not what we want to hear. And I'm so sorry that that is painful for some people and difficult for some to accept. Okay. And I'm getting a lot of you requesting private readings and nothing at all you say after I'm done because it's not what you want to hear. It's what you need to hear. And it's for you to help yourself and grow all of our life from the day we're born to the day we die is about growth. And as we get older and realize lessons in life are for our growth and to let things go that we can't control. Trying to control a situation leads to a tower moment, okay? I'm feeling like our divine female gave this her all. She really put herself out there. She made herself like a martyr for this relationship. I feel like she would have went hungry. She would have went thirsty. She would have like crawled through the desert half dead for this guy. And she got nothing in return but a snotty ass person coming back at her. And it was a tower moment. So I feel like they may have had some type of a blow up here. Okay. This was not built on solid foundations at all. I don't even know with these cards if this could even be true twin. And I'm going to pull a card for that because sometimes we get disillusioned. So if you have found this video and all these messages resonate or 50% of these messages resonate or 60%, you may not even be in union with a twin flame or have come across. We have karmic relationships and we sometimes have false twins where we think that this is our twin. So I'm going to ask, is this twin flame? Yes, it is. Okay, we're going to leave that card up top. This is a twin flame union. I like to get clarity sometimes, guys. Sometimes I get confused as well because um, sometimes twin flame unions are painful. They're more painful than they are joyful, especially in the beginning. Until you fix your shit and fix what you need to fix and get yourself strong and, you know, align yourself with, with spirit and get your vibration higher and heal the things you need to and look at the things you need to look at you know we're not going to have that loving desire between the two people in a divine way you know what i'm trying to say guys so yeah i'm feeling like this definitely blew up and a lot of pieces went missing from it and a lot of stress and strife and arguing and sadness and grief but it didn't have a strong foundation so I don't know if they came together and it was more lustful and then our divine female kind of fell for him and she wanted more immediately and he just went into runner mode and very, very defensive, okay? So what I'm going to do now is pull a card and it's going to be a power of surrender card and we're going to talk about how that can help in the twin flame journey, okay? So surrender to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. There you go. You can't force somebody to be in love with you. You can't force that. 
um, especially Twin Flame Union. Sometimes they're not really all about love. They are about healing. Um, so if she tried to bring in a level of healing to him he was not ready for. There's things about himself he doesn't want to face. He has fears that he doesn't want to look at. There's things about himself that he is not ready to do that. And, and he's going to have to learn to do that all on his own. And our divine female, there will be a point where she starts to let go and she starts to get into her own and come into her own and start taking better care of herself and nurturing herself and letting riches come to her and letting her independence sort of shine through all of this. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Love and light to you all. This has been Lizzie the Lightworker. See you guys in the next reading.